Good afternoon. I am spiritual hypnotherapist, master esthetician, and your host, Sakura Sutter. Welcome to Love from the Hip. This show airs every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. right here on KKNW. And if you are just listening in for the first time, Love from the Hip is unlike anything you have ever heard. It was created with the intention of helping others to help themselves. I will feature guests from around the world who are making a difference helping others in their own unique way. You may also hear me follow up with a guest I may have hypnotized for their issues on a special edition of Love from the Hip, which is available on YouTube and on lovefromthehip.com. Together we can all make a difference, and it begins with love, love from the hip. Have you ever wondered if a loved one that has passed has tried to contact you? Or have you ever wondered if you, are t- you too are intuitive but just aren't quite sure? Do you see repeated signs, hear lyrics to a song that fit your current life issues? Do you see repeated numbers or hear messages or see something that may not quite make sense to you when it is shown? Well, today we will get more insight on intuition and mediumship. And today is my first live show, so go easy on me. I have the pleasure of having both intuitive life coach Sylvia Henderson and the intuitive prospector Mark Lanehart here. And not only will they be talking about intuition, mediumship, awareness, and psychic and spiritual development, but we will also be opening up the phone lines to you. You have the opportunity of calling in today for a free psychic or medium mediumship reading. And that number is 425-373-5527 or 1-888-298-KKNW. So stick around after this quick break and get your questions ready. What you're thinking There are some things you can't hide I wanna know What you're feeling Tell me what's on your mind Your skin is your body's largest organ Care for it properly Starting with your face Sakura Skin and Mind offers several clinical facial treatments to help stimulate collagen production, eliminate toxins, boost circulation, and deeply cleanse. See a new you in your mirror. Clinical facials range from $90 and up. Do your face a favor. Sakura Skin and Mind. Erasing wrinkles, one clinical facial at a time. Learn more, sakuraskinandmind.com. S-A-K-U-R-A, skinandmind.com. Organic, free range, and fresh daily. Alternative Talk, 1150. Pure energy. Welcome back to Love from the Hip. I am spiritual hypnotherapist, master esthetician, and your host, Sakura Sutter. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. right here on KKNW. Today I have the pleasure of having intuitive life coach Sylvia Henderson and the intuitive prospector, Mark Lanehart, on my show. And we'll be touching on intuition, mediumship, awareness, and psychic and spiritual development. But we will also be taking callers. If you have a question about a loved one that has passed or would like intuitive guidance, don't hesitate to call 425-373-5527 or 1-888-298-KKNW. Welcome, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. hello. How are you? Thanks for having me back. Yeah, Yeah, me too. Your first live show. Congratulations. Taking the training wheels off. It's such an honor (laughs) to be here and to witness this. This is going to be fun. (laughs) Thank you. It's an honor to have you both. Well, thank you so much for having us. So let's talk about intuition. Well, okay. So what is intuition? Well, ah, I can't even talk today. So (laughs) I think there's so much energy going on in the room right now. There's so much energy. We're very excited. We're excited. We're so amped up. It's kind of (laughs) crazy. So I've got to find my my left brain and my right brain need to communicate. So just hold on for just a second here. But uh, really, intuition has to do with being able to perceive information that doesn't come through your five physical senses. Mm -hmm. So um, for people who are clairvoyant, it's like they, uh, you have the ability to uh, see or visualize or experience something from a visual perspective, but it's through your third eye, through your mind's eye, really. Mm-hmm. And it feels very much like you're making it up mm-hmm. um, but, and very ethereal, but that really is your intuition. Mm-hmm. And so you might also hear something that almost sounds like it's audible coming through your ears, but it's really like it's in 
I hate to say it, it's in your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. Or for me, you know, and most people, um, everyone tends to first start stepping into their intuitive mm-hmm. awareness through their empathic ability, mm-hmm. meaning that they will feel. They'll feel the energy of someone. Yeah. Um, and so for me, you know, like I can... I can, I'll get a visual sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'll get a physical hit in one of my chakra systems, mm-hmm. uh, one of my chakras, or um, I'll sometimes even hear something. Okay. So, but there's also, you can smell something intuitively, mm-hmm. and that happens a lot with mediumship work, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. I was going to yeah. ask you, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, just to add to that, as far as for me, intuition is the language of the soul. Mm-hmm. And with any language, you have to learn it, trust it, understand it. And when you start to have that language with your own soul, mediumship, uh, intuition, a psychic energy, uh, even healing is that intuition. And like Sylvia was just saying, it's like, how do I trust this? Because the, the, the mind wants to analyze and wants to understand some of the stuff that you're feeling right. or seeing or tasting or touching. So when we move outside of the known five senses, see it, taste it, touch it, hear it, smell it, mm-hmm. and we move into the clairs, clairvoyance, clairsentience, uh, claircognizance, which is the, uh, the ability of knowing something, uh, mm-hmm. clairaudience, which is hearing uh, Claire Factoria, which is smelling, when you start to use it along with your known five senses and you start to trust your intuition and you start to learn your own intuition, you have patience for your intuition, mm-hmm. that's where the spiritual journey really starts to unfold, your own unfoldment, your own development. And so I've always referred to intuition as the language of the soul. And with any language, Spanish, German, French, Italian, English, You have to put time in to understand how that language works, how the communication goes between our physical world and the unseen spiritual world. And you can have a lot of fun. It can really help you navigate the many roads of life. As I'm looking out the studio window, I just see traffic (laughs) and cars and freeways going every Mm -hmm. which way. And we're all trying to navigate these many different freeways of life. And that's what, for me, intuition is, is the language of the soul. And what's beautiful about it being the language of the soul is unlike, unlike learning a foreign language, it's something we're all hardwired yep. with. Yeah. We're yeah. all born with mm-hmm. it. We're all equipped to do it. We're all, everybody is intuitive. It's yes. just <laughs> about whether or not you're allowing yourself to be aware of your intuition because maybe as a child you, you shut it down because um, you got an idea about something that was going to happen and somebody said you were crazy and mm-hmm. then you knew yeah. that yeah. you were right. And you just turned it off. Yeah, and yeah. you turn it off mm-hmm. because you're taught to stay out of the clouds mm-hmm. and to stay just depend on your five senses. Okay. So, yeah. But we all are hardwired with intuitive giftings. Right. Yes, yeah, so everybody has this ability and it's just what do you, it's like, like a vocation. What do you want to get out of this ability? What yeah. you put in, you get out. And I, I was just going to go on what you were saying about children. We can learn a lot from children, uh, the intuitive mm-hmm. aspects, their imagination, their creativity. Mm-hmm. And so we can learn a lot by watching children interact with the spirit world, the unseen world. And they may actually be talking to grandma and you're like, oh, grandma's not there. No, grandma is there just in a different <laughs> sense. And children, because they haven't applied any filters to their journey yet, they're very open and very intuitive. So we could learn a lot from children. Yeah, mm-hmm. that makes sense. All right. Well, do you guys want to take our first caller? Sure. Yes, let's yeah. do that. So we're talking to Rose. Hi, Rose. Hi there. Hi, Hi Rose. Rose. Hi. Welcome. Can you guys hear me okay? We sure can. Yes. Yep. Uh, okay, I don't want to be too loud either. You're fine. <laughs> so okay. do you have a question for us? Yeah, I just was kind of wondering if you could just be, if you see anything coming up for me, like in, as far as, um, I don't know, helping out or um, kind of as work or just as volunteering or, or what kind of you see something maybe come that you see going on, I guess. So I guess what I hear, this is Sylvia Rose, what I guess, mm-hmm. what I think I'm hearing you say is you're trying to um, identify what is my purpose? What am I supposed to yeah. do to contribute? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. So yes, I would say that. You know, it doesn't take a lot of intuition for me to just tap into that, you know, um, because I know that you actually are a natural, open-hearted kind of giving personality. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So um, for you, it's really about, well, what makes your heart sore? You know, what does, what really thrills you to contribute? You know, I'm not sure that it's You know, because when I think, is it helping with children? And I'm like, no, it's not really helping with children. But you do want to serve in some capacity. And I can't say that I can 
it's one of those kind of things that I could say, okay, you should uh, go volunteer in a hospital. But well, no, I do. I do volunteer with hospice, and I do that a couple mm-hmm. times a month. I and I've been kind of sitting into the healing aspect of things, so I just didn't know if you're, you, you guys are seeing that, or I've been energy healing, kind of using. Uh, I started a group with a group of women called um, The Power of Eight, so I'm kind of tapping into that realm now, and it's just starting it in the last week or two. You know, you are so on the right path already. You know, you're really just continue to follow. Your guidance is already, your intuition is already being your beacon of light right now through this whole thing. You know, there's a reason that you have been working with people um, who are in hospice, and now you're moving into this deeper level of being connected on a spiritual level. Um, One of the things I would suggest is that you, if you haven't already, take a Reiki class. Because uh-huh. I think that uh, going into something that's closer to hands-on healing is really going to be a good gifting for you. Mm-hmm. No, that makes sense. That, that's the one thing I haven't done yet. I've read a lot about it and done some online things, but I, ha- I need to do that. That I do need mm-hmm. to do that. I agree. Yeah. So thank you for calling, Rose. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you, Rose. thank you, and enjoy it. Your, I'm excited for your show. Thank good you, Rose. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. All right, well, let's jump in with Liz from Seattle. Liz, are you there? Hello. Hi, Liz. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Good. So what's your question for us? Well, my question is more of a still-in-this-world person. It's my father. He's in a nursing home, and sometimes I really pay attention to what he's saying because he comes in and out of lucidity. And today he said something about me. He said that I have two more years. Is that a message, or is that just... We're going to let Mark take this over, but I have to tell you right now, he was scribbling your name before we took the call, and and Father was written... Down yeah. below it. Oh, yeah, cool. with so, an arrow from your, your yeah. name to the word yeah. father. Yeah, so, so he he's knew. already picking yeah. up on it. So, hi, okay, Mark, go ahead. Hi, Liz. This is hi. Mark Lane Hart, the Intuitive Prospector. Yeah, as I was listening to you speak and uh, wrote down right away that your father is coming through. Now, you did say that he is in a state of uh, Alzheimer's. Did I hear that correctly? No, he's, he had a stroke. And he had a stroke. He's been pretty um, lucid, but they have him on medication for stress and it I think it's affecting his thought processes. Okay. Okay. So he's very much still here in part yeah. of the physical world. The reason I was asking when we get into uh, medicine or Alzheimer's or dementia or not of all of our faculties, we walk between two worlds. We walk between this world, the physical, and we walk between the spiritual world. And I have to say, Liz, around your father's energy as far as uh, the communication, you said two years. Uh-huh. What did you mean by that? Two years of what? Well, he said something about me. He said that I have two years to go. Okay. And I don't. I don't know if that was just some thought that he had, a dream he had, or if it meant anything. Yeah, so this would be more of the psychic uh, energy for me versus mediumship because he's okay. still here in the living world, yeah. and uh, he's not uh, suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia, yeah, so he's right. not walking between two worlds. Uh, for me, psychically, it feels that two years to go that there's going to be a transformation that's going to unlock for you, and I know that you've been working towards that. You've been asking the bigger questions, uh, the meaning of life, if you will, and in two years, I feel like there's going to be an unfoldment or a transformation. I don't feel like it's anything to do with him. I do feel like it's with you. Uh, but I have to acknowledge that there's also a big sunflower that comes up around your name. That's actually what I was drawn as. <laughs> Sakura was uh, at Welcome You to the Show. I was actually drawn a sunflower oh. with your name in the middle of the sunflower and an arrow pointing down to your father. So that is the synchronistic uh, or the synergy of the spirit world working with me, or what I like to say is meaningful happiness. When I see the sunflower, Liz, that is, a, that is the spiritual emblem, along with the lotus flower, of transformation and spiritual growth. And would you understand sunflowers being significant in your journey? Uh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. what, I would, what I would say, pay attention to your daily journey, the magic in the moment, and check the sunflowers out. When those sunflowers make their, their self aware uh, in your own awareness— Look for the signs, symbols, and synergy of the of the uh, spirit world. Now, Liz, would you also understand uh, your father's father, your grandfather, being in the spirit world? Because I have two gentlemen that stand with you uh, in the yeah. spirit world. Okay, uh-huh. and um, he's also making me feel like he's been a big support system in your journey, as far as a, almost like a second father, if you will. Okay. Would you understand that? Well, yeah. I, I, it's interesting because I didn't know him very well when I was growing up. So, yeah. Okay. 
So he's just uh, just know that he's coming through for you this today on today's show, and okay. he's sending you a lot of love. And he's also the the spiritual father along with your physical father that's still here in the physical world. Oh, great! Yeah. Yes. So pay attention to that sunflower, all right, dear? I will. Thank you. Thank You're you, so Liz. welcome. Okay, Thanks for bye. calling. All right, well, stick around. We're going to have to take a quick break. Microneedling is a revolutionary treatment that can help reduce the appearance of acne scars, fine lines, pigmentation, wrinkles, even improve the appearance of stretch marks by stimulating collagen and elastin. Sakura Skin and Mind specializes in this procedure that jumpstarts your body's natural healing process. Sakura Skin and Mind believes in not only keeping the skin up to date with the latest trends in the skincare industry, but also keeping the skin beautiful, fast, pretty, painless, and affordable. Find out more at sakuraskinandmind.com. S-A-K-U-R-A skinandmind.com. Did you know that your skin is your body's first defense against disease and infection? BrioTech knows and has developed their topical skin spray to enhance your skin's natural healing responses and defenses. BrioTech is all about providing its customers products that help promote skin wellness. BrioTech Topical Skin Spray is a light misting spray, free of added fragrance, oil, alcohol, and parabens. All this protection without clogging your pores. It's a must addition to your all-around daily skincare regimen. Try BrioTech, a collection of sprayers from two ounces to eight ounces. With this bundle, you can have BrioTech Topical Skin Spray wherever life takes you. All natural and safe to use from head to toe. Irritations, redness, post-procedure sensitivities? Get BrioTech Topical Skin Spray today. Years in the making, doctor recommended, and available through Amazon. Learn more at BrioTechUSA.com. That's B-R-I-O-T-E-C-H-U-S-A.com. Support your skin at BrioTechUSA.com. Hypnotherapy helps you discover and explore deep, sustainable life changes. Let Sakura guide your communication with your unconscious mind. Rid yourself of negative behaviors, fears, pains, and emotions. Weight loss, smoking, childhood drama, chronic pain, and much more can be addressed. Begin healing now. Just $100 for the first session. Learn more at SakuraSkinAndMind.com. S-A-K-U-R-A SkinAndMind.com Bring out the healthy way of thinking you didn't know you had. If you're planning on building a home or a major landscaping project, you'll want the team of Stone Resources on your side. Safely, effectively, and correctly working with our unique terrain requires local knowledge and environmental care. For 21 years, Stone Resources has been making sure their customers' biggest investment is on solid ground. Trust your next earth-moving project to Stone Resources. Call 425-754-6792. That's 425-754-6792. Stone Resources. We make the earth move. And remember, if you need dirt or have dirt to get rid of, you can call on us. 425-754-6792. On the path to good health and well-being, Alternative Talk 1150 is the station for you. Welcome back to Love from the Hip. I am spiritual hypnotherapist, master esthetician, and your host, Sakura Sutter. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. right here on KKNW. And just as a reminder, this show is live, and you can call in and get some advice intuitively or from a medium. And you can call 425-373-5527 or 1-888-298-KKNW. And we're just bringing it right back here to intuitive, the intuitive prospector, Mark Lanehart, and the intuitive life coach, Sylvia Henderson. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So let's go to Roxanne. You've been waiting so patiently. Hi. Hi, Roxanne. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, all the way from Miami, Miami yeah. Florida. Florida. Yay. Definitely sunny over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's your question for us? Um. Oh, uh, well, I've been going through um, a lot of uh, change and breakdown through my life over the last, like, um, uh, 
five or so years, and I've um, been facing a lot of um, the number five, and you know, the, I'm seeing it on the clock, like five, 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 and one, one, one. I see a lot of that, and I have a lot of new beginning of change, and I'm trying to see what spirit might have to say in regards to what I might need in um, the next upcoming um, wave in, in my life um, as to what will get me through. I'm kind of um, starting, you know, new. Um, I've been through a lot of um, breakdown and a lot of intense experiences. I mm-hmm. kind of gravitate that in my life. And um, I've been a massage therapist, and I have uh, now can't work in that field any longer with some medical issues that I'm dealing with. But I'm trying to find new um, changes and transformations that I'm meant for now at this point in my life. And it's been very intense, and my energy breaks down all the way, and then it comes back together again. But I'm trying to see how I'm to keep going forward because uh, it it gets very, very intense. It gets very, very hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to start off? Um, Yeah, I do. Hi, Roxanne. This is Sylvia Henderson from Intuitive Transformation. So... The first thing that I wrote down, um, you have uh, what I'm picking up. Well, I won't even say the first thing. What I really started feeling as you were speaking was so much congestion around my throat chakra. Mm -hmm. Uh Um, And you are, um, you've experienced uh, what I'm getting is a lot of betrayal where you haven't felt safe trusting other people. And. And more than anything else, it's about not really being able to trust yourself because you've you've had this um, series of experiences where you have given your power away to other people thinking that they would be there for you. And it's been kind of one collapse after another after another. So because I also move energy, um, can I ask the creator of all that is to just do an instant healing and kind of shift some of that off of you? Because it's almost like a heavy cloak of energy that you're carrying right now. And Uh I'm just going to ask that that be broken off of you and shattered. And so anything that does not allow that to happen, are you willing to release and let that go? Yeah. Great. So and then just take a nice deep breath in, too. So one of the things I want you to know is that you are going through a huge transformation. You're actually kind of going through an awakening process, Mm -hmm. which a lot of people right now on the planet are having happen to them. And as a result, what happens is the life that we had is no longer working because it's never really worked, but we've tried to hold it together. And I think that that's Uh kind of the journey you've been on. And Mm -hmm. I just want you to know that you do have tremendous spiritual support around you and that you're going to be okay. But this is a season for you to kind of take it easy and take care of yourself for the first time. And it was really good that you stepped away from massage because you're incredibly empathic and you were picking up everybody else's stuff. And so um, doing some meditation would be really highly um, helpful for you. Um, because there's a lot yeah. of emotions you've stuck da- you've stuffed down over the years, and so it's time for that to just kind of allow that to flow with love and ease. Okay, thank and, you. And and you know, if you want, you know, give me a call, and I'll give you like about ten or fifteen minutes of my time to help break that up for you. I just can't do it on the show. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. I love you, that. darling. Thanks, but, Roxanne. Thank and I want you to know it's going to start getting better. You're kind of in the thick of it right now, so it feels a little yeah. overwhelming. But it is going to start getting better, okay? Just breathe Thank one you. day at a time. Yeah. Just breathe yeah. one day at a time. All right. Sending lots of yeah. love and light to you, sweetie. Thanks, Thanks. Roxanne. Thanks, Roxanne. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's jump to Jared in Woodenville. Jared, are you there? Yes. Hello. Hello. This is Jared. Hi. What's your question for us? I um, was, uh, had a question for Sylvia. I've been working... Um, pretty hard for a long time um, towards success and I've had a lot of um, obstacles in the way and I'm just wondering if uh, her intuition um, might predict any any ones I could ex- expect in the near future. So, okay, you've been working quite a bit. Is that entrepreneurial? Um, educational right now. Yeah. Um there's something going on that's kind of holding you back in terms in in regards to making really solid decisions that are all about you choosing 
you. It's almost like you're trying to uh, gain the approval of someone else. Um, one of your parents, maybe? Does that resonate at all? Maybe uh, a little bit. Like uh, your dad? Um, I guess that I would care about my mom, but uh, also a big part of a, um, a goal for me. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, Mark, we have two more minutes. Can you pick up something from him? Yeah. Hi, Jared. How are you? This is Mark Leanhart. Nice Good, to, Mark. How are you? Good. I am fantastic here on Love from the Hip, having a good time. <laughs> so working on education, uh, just having a, uh, just a working hard and putting in, you know, uh, I'm just, I, I feel like there's a, almost like for me, intuitively, there's a, almost a lack of patience behind all this, kind of wanting that on demand. Like I want to start seeing the fruits of my labor start coming in. To my life, and I'm and I'm not feeling that with you. So, what I would recommend is, uh, do you do you meditate, Jared? Do you get into a place of relaxation and get into a place of the magic of the moment, being in the now versus what's in the future? Um, not regularly, but uh, I'm I'm uh, yes, sir, experienced with it. Okay, mindfulness exercises. Yeah, that's what I would recommend daily. Daily meditation can really kind of uh, take away that. You know, when we think about our future, the future is really not real because we can't go out and grab that. We can put our imagination Mm -hmm. into making the future become real, just like we can make the past become real through our memories. But I would just uh, recommend just more taking time to disconnect so you have time to reconnect with yourself and understand that you're on the right path, you're right where you need to be. And a lot of times in the spiritual path, we we want to put the cart before the horse when we're actually really on the right track. I know that you're working hard. I can feel that about your energy. And just have patience because the fruits of your labor are going to start turning out for you. You're going to start having some doors and opportunities in the education field uh, start opening, uh, especially moving into September because that's in numerology. That's the number nine. That is a completion of things. So as uh, pay attention to the number nine for you as well. As the doors open, step through those with uh, trust and patience, and you'll see some amazing things unfold. But I would get back to a daily meditation practice to help you with your own uh, peace of mind in your own journey. Yeah. Yes, sir. So keep yeah. doing what I'm doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep one doing day at a time, doing. one breath at a time. That's what we do. Yeah. yeah. And watch your thoughts. I feel like you're kind of, there, there's a looping pattern of some yeah. self-defeating thoughts yeah. that you're just kind of feeding into, and they're ta- kind of, uh, that's been kind of distracting you from, recognizing that you are on your right path. So um, watch those negative thoughts because yes, they're not ma'am, serving you. I can relate you. to that. Okay. Yeah. Your fruits of labor will pay off. Trust <laughs> yeah. me, Jared. They will pay off. Just keep keep moving forward. Focus Always on what move you want, forward. Yep. not what you don't want. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I'm only after what I want. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for calling, Thanks, Jared. Jared. Right. Yes, appreciate I appreciate it. your all time. Thank all right, you. love you. Well, we're going to have to go to a quick break, but just as a reminder, you can call in at 425-373-5527 or 1-888-298-KKNW. On this weekly skinny, I would like to discuss why us women tend to have more breakouts during our menstrual cycle. Doctors for so long have blamed it on hormones, but the truth is, during our menstrual cycle, your body is so focused on your reproductive organs that its immune system is actually weaker and more susceptible to infection. These infections, viral and bacterial, can cause your skin to break out. So what should you do to combat these breakouts during your period? Boost up your immune system with probiotics, vitamin C and zinc, to name a few. You can also boost up your skincare by applying topical vitamins like A, C, and E, and using purifying masks, and also getting a clinical facial. If you would like to learn more information on what products you can use or would like to schedule your clinical facial, feel free to email me at sakura at sakuraskinandmind.com or call 206-730-7429. Men, care for your skin properly, starting with your face. Sakura Skin and Mind offers their Gentleman's Groom Clinical Facial for just $120. Designed for your rugged skin, a deep cleansing clinical facial is like a one, two, three punch to wrinkles, age spots, and problem skin. Tame those brows, ears, and nostrils. Sakura Skin and Mind, erasing wrinkles one clinical facial at a time. Learn more at sakuraskinandmind.com. S-A-K-U-R-A SkinAndMind.com If you're planning on building a home or a major landscaping project, you'll want the team of Stone Resources on your side. 
safely, effectively, and correctly working with our unique terrain requires local knowledge and environmental care. For 21 years, Stone Resources has been making sure their customers' biggest investment is on solid ground. Trust your next earth moving project to Stone Resources. Call 425 754 6792. That's 425 754 6792. Stone Resources. We make the earth move. And remember, if you need dirt or have dirt to get rid of, you can call on us. 425 754 6792. Peach Buzz is great. If it's on a peach, let Sakura Skin and Mind remove unsightly hair with dermaplaning. Although its primary purpose is to remove layers of dead skin, it's just one of the added benefits leaving your skin baby smooth, safe, effective, fast and affordable. What a concept! Sakura Skin and Mind want you to look your very best and dermaplaning is just one tool in their chest. Find out about dermaplaning at sakuraskinandmind.com. S-A-K-U-R-A, skinandmind.com. We bring out the healthy skin and healthy way of thinking you didn't know you had. Bringing good vibes to the Puget Sound and the world. Alternative Talk 1150. Welcome back to Love from the Hip. I am spiritual hypnotherapist, master esthetician, and your host, Sakura Sutter. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. right here on KKNW. And again, today I have a very cool show. It's live, and I've got in- the intuitive prospector, Mark Lanehart, and intuitive life coach, Sylvia Henderson. And we're going to jump right in. Um, Alexa, you've been on hold. So, Alexa. Hi. Thanks for taking the call. Of course. What's um, your question for us? Yeah. My question is, um, I think about energy um, and health. I... Um, have been sort of um, struggling with an injury for a long time that got muscle tested and determined that I had some intolerance to certain foods, and I followed that for a while. Um, and then I, um, I don't know if my immune system or if there's energy, but in the last few months, I've been things have been much better with the injury, but I've developed this sort of like underlying agitation in like in my muscles or nerves and I don't know what it is it comes and goes but um I started doing some heart chakra work that really really helped but I would love to get any feedback you have if there's any other kind of energy because it's bringing up all sorts of stuff and um I would love a little bit of direction so I can kind of clear as much as possible because I'm a little concerned about getting into the winter with all this okay so um, the first thing I, this is Sylvia Henderson with Intuitive Transformations. The first thing I picked up, Alexa, is, uh, well, first I want to ask you, so your relationship with food, how long has that been kind of a challenging thing for you? My relationship with what? Food. Being um, careful about what you eat. Oh, yeah. It's been like, well, it's been um, intermittent. Um, I started like when I was, in my late teens with a lactose yeah. intolerance. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I've just been making changes, but it, it got pretty bad about 10 years ago. But it, before that, it was fine. It was like, I'm really um, sensitive to stress. So um, I know that. What I've been picking up from you is that this sensitivity with food, this this relationship is like a love hate relationship with food for you energetically huh. and vibrationally. And, I'll be honest, this is coming from a past life is what I'm picking up. And so what you may want to consider doing is having a past life regression session with Shakura, (laughs) you know, or a session with me because it's definitely coming from a past life. I was checking, you know, is it coming through the ancestral DNA? And I got no. Is it just something you picked up? No. But there's always been just kind of this worry about food is not safe for me, Mm -hmm. you know. And so and 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 I'll be honest, you're kind of. Um, I get it, that you're cautious around a lot of new things, you know, um, a little concerned about stepping out of the box. Does that make sense? Um, well, to some degree. I mean, I've stepped out quite a bit, actually. 
Um, I almost feel like I've stepped out too far. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, stepped out of your your safety net a little bit too far, your comfort zone. But, you know, I'm glad you called because um, so one of the things, you know, I am an energy healer. So I'm just going to see what I can do very quickly to see if I can't clear that up. Yeah, because I have done um, past life regressions before. Mm. So I feel like I'm, um, what happened the last time I did one was that I really realized how weak my body was. Mm -hmm. Mm. And so I've been trying to build my immune system as much as possible. But I can tell you that, um, you know, that on my mother's family, it's not very strong. And so maybe there's some connection there. I've been, I've been sort of energetically trying to disconnect from it. Um, but anyway, that's just my feedback to you. And what I've done, but I, you know, go with whatever you feel. Yeah. Um, you know, I get why you would see that coming through your mom's because here's what a soul does. You know, when we transition, we'll choose a, a family that's in vibrational alignment with us. And um, you chose this family because you had this situation that happened in this past life. And Mark just you know, had a piece of paper with Showed your name, and he said, Mom, script. yeah, another one of his scribbles. With your name so, and mom. <laughs> I'm going to let him talk a little bit more about the mom thing because I think he's getting something on that. Hi, Alexa, okay, this is Mark. How are you? Uh, actually, for the I'm energy fine, work that you. you're doing, I'm actually feeling for you to take a break, that mm. we need mm-hmm. to remember when we work mm. with energy, and I know this as a medium myself, that we put a lot of, of stress and uh, strain on our nervous system. And I know that you said you were having some muscle fatigue, some nerve uh, problems in the nervous system. Yeah. The body is letting you know that it, it, it needs to take some rest, and it, it is always a good time to take a break. Your health is your wealth, as I always say, and without your health... Nothing else really matters. So I know you said you, you work with energy a lot. So you're using your nervous system almost like an antenna or a lightning rod, and the body can only take so much. Uh, as I was mm-hmm. listening to you, listening to you talk to Sylvia, uh, your mom uh, was coming up. Uh, would you is now is mom in the spirit world for you, please? Um, you mean is she on the other side? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, she is. Yeah. So what I had, when I wrote down your name, I actually put an arrow down and had mom. So I know that mom is coming through and that she's very close to you. And I'm actually hearing from your mom that she's saying, honey, it's time to take a break. <laughs> and one of the recommendations I would give you is I know that you have an injury, but getting out into nature is our greatest teacher and our yes. greatest healer. And when we go out and we sit in the garden, we sit by the tree, whatever you're capable of doing, she's saying, mm-hmm. please do that. And I have to say that the ladybug is coming up for her around you. So if you see the ladybug land on you, that's your mom's way of letting you know that she's very close by and she's still supporting you from the spirit world here in the physical world and the ailments that you're going through. I'm also hearing for you, Alexa, it's time to float. Have you ever gone in one of those float tanks, the saltwater tanks, where you just float and oh, kind of just yeah. let it all go away? I'm seeing the mm-hmm. Calgon commercial, Calgon, <laughs> take me away. For yeah. you, uh, I'm actually hearing that a float tank uh, would be a great way to heal and a lot more rest. I, I feel like your sleep or your sleep patterns are not what they need to be, and there's a lot of energy right now in the conscious society. So a mm-hmm. good rest. Take a break. Pay attention to the seasons and the cycles of your work because that's very, very important. And if you go, 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 the body's going to say, no, no, no. Yeah, right. Does that make sense for you? Totally. Yeah, no, it does. It does. I really do need to. I don't I don't rest definitely enough, and it's been going on for a number of years. So. Yeah, and uh, pay attention to the ladybug. The ladybug's telling you to uh, notice the small yeah. things. That'll be your mom's way directly coming through to connect with you to give you that that subtle reminder. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. This You're very thanks, welcome. Alexa. Mm-hmm. We're going to go thank right you. into Karen. Hello, Karen. Uh-oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. Karen. Hi. Yes. Thanks Hi. for joining us. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Thank you for having me. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Karen. So, welcome. what's your what's your question for us? So, um, I have been a vegeta- vegetarian for not decades. And I find myself now in a situation where I have to add meat. I'm on a very strict diet um, to, to clean up my gut and to heal it. And I have to add meat, otherwise I'm going to starve to death. So I'm having a really hard time with this because, uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm, so I stopped eating meat for, for ethical reasons. And I don't, I really don't like um, somebody to kill animals for me so I can consume them. Mm-hmm. Can you have So, so I just want to reiterate. I think what she said is that she's been a vegetarian, mm-hmm. and so now she has to, for medical reasons, she has to start eating meat, and so she's got some resistance around that because she chose vegetarian for, for um, so many years. Yeah. And now, now eating meat. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. 
Yeah. Are you getting anything about that? Uh, actually, Karen, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm actually, would you understand a dog being in the spirit world around you? <laughs> As you're talking, I've got a lot of uh, a dog that's actually coming close to me. I'm usually not an animal communicator, so this is interesting. Uh, would you understand a dog in the spirit world for you, please? Yes, I do. Yeah, and this this dog feels very close to you. And as a medium, you know, working in between two worlds, this dog brings you a lot of comfort. Or when the dog was with you, and I'm just I'm, I'm giving you that reminder. And I know that your um, your diet is 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 fluctuating, and your body's fluctuating with that as well. Uh, now you have gone to a natural path, or you have seen a doctor, correct? As far as for That's your correct. Okay, because it's always important to, you know, see a doctor, somebody that knows what they're talking about. I see a natural path, and you get the test, so you uh, are seeing what you're, what's triggering in your diet as far as meat or eggs or oats or uh, any of those things. Um, as far as uh, the meat, I'm actually feeling that the meat, I know you said for an ethical standpoint, but it actually sometimes we need that protein. And there's, there's for your diet, I'm actually hearing higher protein levels. There's actually more protein that's, that needs to be uh, accomplished and more fiber. So fiber and protein, which are, uh, you know, I'm not a nutritionist, but um, those are the two things that I am hearing for the diet is to work on that. But I just have to acknowledge that this dog and spirit that was very close to you, it just wants to say thank you for taking such good care of them. Mm-hmm. And they're but coming actually, they're coming from the spirit world to say we're still mm-hmm. taking care of you and they see that you're struggling. So just know that this dog is, um, what, what is this dog's name? The, the dog is actually coming to us now. We, are, we, are, we have ordered the puppy, and we've got to pick her up um, in about three, four weeks. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Well, always an interesting uh, message to get, you know, those uh, in the spirit world. Uh, but protein and more protein and more fiber and be, you know, selective on the meats that you are putting into your body. Okay. Thanks, Karen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for calling. Well, we're going to have to go to a quick break. And just as a reminder, you can call 425-373-5527 or 1-888-298-KKNW. Dig. skin is your body's largest organ. Care for it properly, starting with your face. Sakura Skin and Mind offers several clinical facial treatments to help stimulate collagen production, eliminate toxins, boost circulation, and deeply cleanse. See a new you in your mirror. Clinical facials range from $90 and up. Do your face a favor. Sakura Skin and Mind, erasing wrinkles one clinical facial at a time. Learn more, sakuraskinandmind.com. S-A-K-U-R a skin and mind.com. Did you know that your skin is your body's first defense against disease and infection? BrioTech knows and has developed their topical skin spray to enhance your skin's natural healing responses and defenses. BrioTech is all about providing its customers products that help promote skin wellness. BrioTech Topical Skin Spray is a light misting spray free of added fragrance, oil, alcohol, and parabens. All this protection without clogging your pores. It's a must addition to your all around daily skincare regimen. Try BrioTech, a collection of sprayers from two ounces to eight ounces. With this bundle, you can have BrioTech topical skin spray wherever life takes you. All natural and safe to use from head to toe. Irritations, redness, post-procedure sensitivities? Get BrioTech topical skin spray today. Years in the making, Doctor recommended and available through Amazon. Learn more at BrioTechUSA.com. That's B R I O T E C H U S A.com. Support your skin at BrioTechUSA.com. Microneedling is a revolutionary treatment that can help reduce the appearance of acne scars, fine lines, pigmentation, wrinkles, even improve the appearance of stretch marks by stimulating collagen and elastin. Sakura Skin and Mind specializes in this procedure that jumpstarts your body's natural healing process. Sakura Skin and Mind believes in not only keeping the skin up to date with the latest trends in the skincare industry, but also keeping the skin beautiful, fast, pretty, painless, and affordable. Find out more at sakuraskinandmind.com. S-A-K-U-R-A skinandmind.com. 
Hypnotherapy helps you discover and explore deep, sustainable life changes. Let Sakura guide your communication with your unconscious mind. Rid yourself of negative behaviors, fears, pains, and emotions. Weight loss, smoking, childhood drama, chronic pain, and much more can be addressed. Begin healing now. Just $100 for the first session. Learn more at sakuraskinandmind.com. S-A-K-U-R-A skinandmind.com. Dot com. Bring out the healthy way of thinking you didn't know you had. You found us. Maybe you've been guided to listen. Alternative Talk 1150. Welcome back to Love from the Hip. I am spiritual hypnotherapist, master esthetician, and your host, Sakura Sutter. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. right here on KKNW. And today I have the pleasure of having intuitive life coach Sylvia Henderson and the intuitive prospector Mark Lanehart on my show. And it's live. So feel free to call us in at 425-373-5527 or 1-888-298-KKNW. And until we have another caller, let's talk about mediumship. Oh, my favorite subject. Well, Sakura, <laughs> thank you so much for having us on your oh, first live you show. Guys. Congratulations. <laughs> it's always a lot of fun to do a live show and take callers as far as mediumship, uh, what do you want to know? What do you want to discuss? Where do you want to go with mediumship? Just what is mediumship? You Kim? see dead people? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I sense dead people. I don't actually see dead people. And I mm-hmm. actually don't like to use the word dead because the word dead implies an ending. Right. And the mediumship is the vocation and the study and the understanding that life does go on after mm-hmm. death. Okay. Yeah, I like I to use this. the word passing over transferring over, going home, Mm -hmm. uh, going to summer land. Those are uh, concepts that I use because, again, when you just say death or dead, it just implies an end. And I've I've known from my experience, my own journey, my own personal experiences, my own near-death experience, that life does go on after we leave the physical body. Mm -hmm. And mediumship is a lot different from what we're talking about today. We were talking about intuition, understanding your own intuition as the language of your soul. Uh, mediumship is actually connecting with someone that actually came here to the physical earth, or what we say incarnated into physical form, and then decarnated back into energy, love, memory, thought. And it's a little bit different from psychic energy because psychic is more focused on the daily journey. So your mm. career, your love life, we had a few callers that were calling in about the work that they are doing. Uh, it's more along the the, uh, the path of life and, and looking for those road signs, if you will. That's more of the psychic energy. Mm-hmm. Mediumship is very focused in on the memories and the thoughts of those that once walked the physical plane and now are no longer with us. And, you know, it took me a few years of understanding the difference between, I kind of, you know, when I first started the spiritual path, I thought it was all kind of the same thing. But yeah. there really is a big difference when you start to carve out what psychic energy is, what intuitiveness, awareness, mediumship spiritual development, and I'm a British-trained medium, so I go to England every year, and I actually study at a college, Mm -hmm. uh, and we call it Hogwarts, so it is like (laughs) Harry Potter. I take a a train from London north up to the college, and I spend several weeks there, but it's really just communicating uh, with people here, with those that are no longer here, and like I say, a spiritual reunion from spirit, through spirit, to spirit, Mm -hmm. and there's so much healing. There's so many messages that can come through, healing for myself, healing for the person that I'm connecting with, and also healing for the sp- those in, still in the spiritual world didn't get to say goodbye, or I'm just saying hello, or I want to let you know that the necklace you're wearing, uh, I didn't appreciate you wearing it because it's my <laughs> necklace and you shouldn't be wearing it. It should be in your jewelry box. Something I just is to know that. that they're okay. Yeah. Just to know that, that they're okay. That is so yeah. comfort- comforting Absolutely. for yeah. people still in the physical realm. Yeah, mm-hmm. To exactly. just know that their loved one to, that transitioned mm-hmm. is with them, is still loving them, and that they're okay and that they're happy. Exactly. Yeah. It's like uh, today, uh, of all days, on being on the radio today, uh, today is my would have been my brother's 40th birthday. Mm. He passed. He was uh, murdered at the age of 21. So he's been gone for several years. But like I remind my family and my friends that he's just a thought away. They're Mm -hmm. never gone. They're always here with our spiritual, uh, our journey. Uh, But if we pay attention to the signs, the symbols and the synchronistic events that take place, the spirit world makes themselves very well known. That's fascinating. Well, we're going to take a caller. From Marysville, my old, my hometown, (laughs) where I used to live. (laughs) So hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Can I get a reading from Mark? Yeah, absolutely. Happy What's your question? To. I just want to know what what's out there. What is there anything that I need to know, or somebody trying to tell me something? Or yeah, so this is Marysville, Washington, correct? 
right. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I used to live in Marysville for 15 years, so I know it very well. Wow. I used to work mm-hmm. for the fire department up there, so give a shout out to Marysville. <laughs> so, Jane, uh, <laughs> thanks for calling in. Let me just uh, mm-hmm. tune into your name real quick. And I have to say, you're just wanting to know what's out there as far as in the way of the spirit world or for your own journey. You want? Are you are you looking yeah. to connect with mom? If he wants to connect with me, that would be mm-hmm. wonderful. Yeah, so let's start there. So mom is in the spirit world just for uh, our listening audience, yes? Mm-hmm, yeah. yes. So um, I have to say Jane. Now, is Jane your full name, honestly? Yes, uh-huh. Okay, because there's a ne- as I'm connecting with your mom and blending with the essence of your mom— I don't feel like Jane is the right name I should be calling you. I feel like the name either needs to be longer or the name needs to be shorter. Uh, but when I say ah. Jane, it doesn't resonate with how your mom would talk to you. Would you understand that, please? Ah, that's weird, yeah. Okay. So, that's all I've ever been known as. Okay. It, when, I, when I sense that, though, that's usually a nickname that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you would understand that? Yeah, no. Uh-uh. I did not don't really remember anything. Okay. Well, that's okay. Uh, oh. As far as mm-hmm. I, I've, I've, I found in doing this long enough that some of the best evidence comes after the reading, uh, after, after the connection. <laughs> after, yeah. Uh, but as mm-hmm. far as when I'm saying your name, it just doesn't f- uh, it doesn't fit for me. I feel like it needs to be either shorter or a nickname that's longer. Mm-hmm. Um, as mm-hmm. far as your mom, would you understand 29 around, the number 29, which is also the month of November for me? Okay. November is coming up. So the month of November is significant somewhere along the path, either for you, because she's talking about the month of November coming up. And if, okay. you're, if you can't connect with that, that's okay. I'll just go back to her and see what else she has for me. Okay. Um, now, as far as where you're living, she's showing me present tense. Do you actually, in Marysville, do you live up on the crest of the hill? No. Okay. Because she's showing me um, a house up on a hill and actually having a nice okay. view. There is my friend, a good friend. I go up there a lot. Okay, because when the spirit world comes through, uh, she's showing me present tense, but it, she's showing me a house on a hill with a nice view looking out to the west uh, o- over like a sunset. And she's saying, um, right. r- r- see me in the sunsets. Look look for me in the sunsets. And, and the, the sun is coming up uh, sp- uh, all around you as well as far as the color yellow and the, and the color of the sun and the sun itself. So is there an importance about the sunsets or looking to the west and remember her with the sunsets? I just love sunsets. Okay, so that's just her way of coming too. through to connect with you. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, just that's where you'll find her. You'll find her in the sunsets. And sometimes the message can be that simple. You can find her in the mm-hmm. sunsets, and she sees right. you looking at the sun. So just know that she's uh, really close to you. And also pay attention to the month of November because the month of November or the number 29 is coming up significantly. Okay. All right, Jane. Thanks, Jane. Thanks for calling. Thank you very much. Thank you for calling. Have a great day. Bye, Jane. You too. (laughs) Bye-bye. Well, I want to thank you both for being here, but could you tell our listeners how to find you both? Ladies first. Okay, then. So to find me, Sylvia Henderson, my website is intuitivetransformations.net. That's intuitivetransformations with an S, dot net, not dot com, dot net. (laughs) And again, thank you for having us on the show. Absolutely. Uh, it was really fun, live, your first live show. Thank you. Uh, you can find uh, more about my work at marklinehart.com. You can internet search The Intuitive Prospector. You can find me through YouTube, and you can catch me every Monday morning for Metaphysical Mocha Mondays on Facebook Live. I'd love to do a little spiritual prospecting with you for your own spiritual gold. Great. Thank you. Thank you very, mu- thank very you. much. And thank you, Eric, for all that you do. Thank you, Eric. And Good thank you, the listeners. Good job on our live show. Yeah. Thank you. Is there a clapping? Yes. Or can we get a clap? And, on the <laughs> don't forget to stick around for my Get Hep segment. And you can find me at lovefromthehip.com or sakuraskinandmind.com. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Love From The Hip. Like me on Facebook at Love From The Hip. And follow me on Instagram at Love From The Hip. And that's H-Y-P. And remember, if you are interested in being hypnotized on a special edition of Love From The Hip and sharing your experience later on the air or have any questions or comments, please email me at sakura at lovefromthehip.com or call 206-730-7429. And tune in next Wednesday right here on KKNW. And remember to make self-love contagious. Go ahead. I dare you. On this week's Get Hip segment, I would like to discuss a client I saw who was struggling with overeating. As it turns out, it was revealed to the client in this session that he was in fact overeating to remember his father, whom passed away when he was a teen. 
Now in his 60s, he realized that the only memory he had embedded in his mind was his father telling him to finish everything on his plate. So to keep the memory of his father alive, he was in fact finishing everything on his plate. Once he recognized that and replaced that memory with a different one of him and his father riding a bike, it actually made him stop the habit. It is amazing what we do when we lose somebody we love in order to keep them alive. We never want to forget them, so we keep them alive in our own subconscious way. If you are struggling with a bad eating habit, you may find its root to be something you had consciously never thought of. And if you would like to dive in and find out more through hypnotherapy, you can email me at sakura at lovefromthehip.com or call 206-730-7429.